I was conducting a tour one day and got this far and discovered that we have an autogyro, which I wasn't aware that uh, uh, was in possession of the museum. I was quite startled in seeing it. I hadn't seen one since the fall of 1931 when I was awarded a trip to the Michigan State Fair in Detroit just as I was becoming a freshman in high school. Wow. One day uh, our group were permitted on the grandstand and we saw for the first time this autogyro which is the forerunner of the helicopter. It uh, has many similarities, but also is quite different. The rotor is actually a rotary wing that is a freewheeling uh, device. It's not connected to the engine. The power is from the engine into the propeller out in front of this aircraft, and so uh, when it was ready to take off, it take, takes a short uh, takeoff run, and as it starts to move, the uh, gyro starts to spin and lifts the plane in the air. And as long as you're going forward, the gyro continues to spin and acts as an artificial wing to hold the plane in the air. To land, you bring it back, throttle back, slow it down, and it gradually sinks into the ground. Makes it a very safe airplane, because if the engine cuts out entirely, you've got the uh, uh, rotary wing to lift you down on the ground. I noticed by the placard that this plane was built in May of 1941, uh, 1931, uh, just a few months before my trip to the State Fair, so it may well be the same aircraft.